Hello all and welcome to my humble abode. It is week 10. Yay, milestone. And today's book, Happily Ever After, The Life-Changing Power of a Grateful Heart by Trista Sutter. Now, I stumbled upon this book, Go Figure, in a dollar store. Yeah, a whole dollar. But this was a wonderful read. And this goes along with a lot of the readings that I've already um, experienced. It's about changing your mindset and being grateful for the things that happen in your life, whether they're good or bad. And being grateful for the people in your life and expressing that gratitude in every possible, excuse me, way. Now, this woman has been through, um, she was on the, she was the original bachelorette. <laughs> and she is talking about her life journey of being grateful. Um, her, Look. Start, that's a picture, her trials of trying to get pregnant after finding her prince charming so to speak and going through a semi-humiliation of going on the bachelor and being rejected and going through a lot of a lot of turmoil <laughs> a lot of turmoil through being criticized through the media etc and just being grateful for the experiences she's been through and having her children, meeting her Prince Charming. And all through the book, it just constantly, she constantly reiterates about the this, this situation and the people that have were brought into her life that became long-term friends, um, taught her lessons, things that she went through that taught her lessons. And this book just gets you in an upbeat great spirit it just makes you feel good and and i suggest you read it it's a very good read um if you don't have a good spirit you will when you're done reading this because the stories are very um heartfelt and touching the people that she met in her life and that touched her life and the lives that she touched it just, it, it, it's like that, it's like the thing that I've been saying, to, to be a greater person and be a greater you. You know, you expand this goodness and this uh, happiness to others. You impact other people's lives without even knowing by being, you know, happy in your spirit, growing as a person and allowing not just yourself to be grateful for things but being happy for the experiences that you go through you know learning from each and every experience and expanding your horizons you know learning something new from someone being humble enough to listen to other people's stories and you know trying to be the best you basically just being the best you you know and not looking at any situation as always a woe is me. I'm not saying that nobody's going to have a downtime and nobody's going to be, you know, just always perfect. But for the most part, when things go bad, you might have to have that moment, have that cry. But after that, it's like, what did I learn from this? You know, how, what did I get out of this? And what can I be grateful for? You know, because... Yeah. Even in a tornado, you can find something good, you know? Something can come, be good, come good, become good out of every situation, no matter what the situation is. Um, I'm going to refer back to the book that I just read um, last week uh, about the Nazi stories. Now, <laughs> um, there was a man that was complaining well, he was sad because his wife had died, and it had been two years since she had passed, and he was just in a in a slump, and he was just like, oh, you know, doctor, how could this happen to me? And the doctor was like, well, okay, well, you're, okay, your, your wife died, but if she hadn't died, you would have died before her. How do you think that would have felt for her to suffer and losing you, 
you know it might have been worse so you prevented her from suffering that's just looking at it on a on a flip side you know and looking on the flip side when you love someone as deeply as that man loved his wife in his eyes that was his rationale for suffering because he would rather go through it than to take his wife through it. and that's that's looking at the right side of things that's having a grateful heart that you know at least my wife isn't suffering you know that's looking at the bright side to me so anywho i love this book i hope you go out and read it <laughs> i hope you go out and read it this woman is so upbeat such a beautiful person i mean from the read just a beautiful person in the inside i mean she has so many things that has happened so much going on but she still stays humble and that's another thing we have to remember always stay humble stay grounded you know people come and go in your life you gotta learn you got to learn. You got to be great. Do great things. All that good stuff. <laughs> so anyway, who? thank you for watching this. I hope you go out and get that book. It was, it was a beautiful read for me. So I hope it's a beautiful read for you. All right. Thank you. Love yourself. And thanks for watching. Bye.